Hi, thank you for joining me for this quick UltiPro tutorial. For this tutorial, you will learn how to process a salary change. Let's get started. First, you want to make sure that you are currently logged into UltiPro with using your user ID and your password. To access to process your salary change, first, click Menu in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. Hover under My Team and click My Employees. Next, locate and search for the employee's record that you need to update. For our example today, we will be using our test account, Walter Test. You will click his name to open his record. Next, click Jobs. And if you notice to the right of the screen, you'll see a gray box that says things I can do. Under this, you'll see a few different functionalities that you'll be able to update an employee's record or make changes. Today, we'll be focusing on change salary and also change job and salary. For change salary, it is just that, that you just want to make an update to an employee's salary, whether giving them an increase or a decrease, or if you want to change their position with the company, so change their job and also their salary. So let's say if they had a full promotion and you want to give them a change of their position with us at the company and also a salary update, you will click this function. Today, we will focus on both of those transactions, so I will show you both and how to complete both. So first, change salary. Go ahead and click the link. You will notice that change salary will create a new window for you to open. Next, you want to make sure for the effective date that you choose an effective date that is listed for the beginning of the pay period. So for our example today, I'm going to use the current pay period that's in process, so that will be as of May the 9th. Next, you want to make sure you choose a reason. There is a wide array of reasons here that are available to you that you may pick and choose from. So today, what I'm going to use is merit increase. Next, to add the salary change, you see here this is the salary section. You have a couple of options that are available to you here. You can either add a percent change, so you can actually type in a specific percent, and the system will automatically calculate how much that percent is going to be in terms of dollar amount. Or if you want to, you can type in a specific rate. And with the specific rate, you have a few different options that are also available to you. You can do it by hour, so an hourly rate, by period, which means a bi-weekly pay period, by the week, or annually, by year. So whichever option you choose, the system will automatically show what the current amount is that an employee is being paid, and then it will also translate and calculate what the new rate will be, so you can see both. It also translates, of course, the percentage change if you do not enter percentage change in this box. If a percentage change is over 10%, what will occur is it will be sent over to your senior manager for approval. They will receive an email advising that a change in salary has been submitted for an employee's record. They will review it, and then they'll approve the request. Once that request is approved, it will automatically be sent to us in payroll here in HR for review and processing. We will approve it and we will approve it and it will be posted to the employee's record. If for any reason for the any type of salary changes that's less than 10%, what will occur is it will be reviewed and sent over to HR for processing. Now once you have entered the salary change and all the fields are completed, notice that there are red dots for each field that you need to complete before you may proceed. You will just click Save. Once you click Save, then everything will be basically processed according to our workflow, whether it is a 10% um, salary increase that we sent to your senior manager, or if it's less than that, they'll be sent over to payroll for processing. And that is how you process a change salary. Just make sure that you fill out the template here that is available to you. You can also, if you like, add a note as well, if you like to notate it, and only click Save. That's the only action you need to complete. I'm going to X out of this and go back to Walter's record one more time. And let's now go and jump into the change job and salary. If you remember the change job functionality, you'll see that it's very similar and very familiar to you. 
it's very easy. It's the same basic process. So you'll first want to make sure you have an effective date, of course, at the beginning of that payroll. So we're going to choose May the 9th again for our example. We'll also choose a reason. So here, yet again, there's a wide array of reasons that you may choose. So let's say, for example, the reason for this change is that Walter received a promotion. We're going to also choose his new position with the company, and we'll go ahead and update, let's say, for example, as HR manager. So he's going from a journalist to a manager. And also, if he's going to be changing supervisors as well. So you want to make sure if he is changing his supervisor, you want to update as well in this tool. So if he is being changed to that, we'll go ahead and update it to, let's say, for example, his new manager, and we'll choose buy for this functionality. So you can just see an example of this. Down here in the bottom here for payroll, all the information here is basically preloaded for you because this will be based upon the information that's already currently housed in the system. It will include the pay group, which will be either uh, for a West Corp group. Schedule hours is 80 because we are paid on a bi-weekly basis. The employee type is going to be regular. The employee type will be either salaried or hourly based upon that employee or position. And then, of course, we list it as full-time or part-time. Next, what you want to do is click Next in the upper right-hand corner to continue on. And on the next screen, as you saw the last time we process the salary change, you'll see it's basically the same type of template. You want to either put your percent change, so let's say that because he's changing to a different role, we can give him a 15% increase, and you'll see here, once you add it into a life, uh, life active employee, you'll see the changes here. You'll see the current rate, and you'll see the new rate available to that employee that you're processing. Again, you can also add a new rate if you want to put in a specific dollar amount based upon hourly, uh, per pay period basis, a weekly basis, or year, which is annual basis. You can add that into the system. And then finally, what you want to make sure you do is click Save. Once you click Save, um, based upon the workflow in terms of the change in the job, the position, and also the salary change, it will be sent over to your senior manager for review and approval, and then it will be also sent over to HR for review and approval as well. What happens once it's approved through all of the approvers that are associated with this flow, and for this employee's record, it will be added to the employee's record and it will be effective as of that change in date. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. Now, this is how you process either a change job in salary or just a change salary in Ulti Pro. Thank you for joining me today. Take care.